There has been more action outside the courthouse as police get ready for possible criminal charges in the case against the former president. We have team coverage for you. Marsha Kramer breaking down the political implications. But we begin with CBS 2's Jessica Moore live in Lower Manhattan where some people have been gathering throughout the day. And Jessica, what's it like out there right now? Well, Marisa Christine, things are fairly calm right now, perhaps because the arrest that Trump himself predicted would happen today so far has not come to fruition. The former president has an extensive history of civil litigation, but if you add a criminal charge on top of that, it would dramatically escalate his legal problems as he tries to once again reclaim the White House. Did Donald Trump falsify business records to hide campaign finance violations? That's what the grand jury is weighing as we speak. The allegations center around the hush money paid to porn star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 presidential election. More specifically, how those payments were allegedly booked as legal expenses in Trump's business records. Former Trump fixer Michael Cohen says Trump ordered him to pay Daniels off. Donald Trump needs to be held accountable for his dirty deeds if, in fact, that's the way that the facts play out. Yesterday, longtime Trump ally Robert Costello testified about Cohen's lack of credibility. If they want to go after Donald Trump and they have solid evidence, so be it. But Michael Cohn is far from solid evidence. The greatest challenge in the case is proving criminal intent. Uh, on the part of uh, of Donald Trump. Trump has been anticipating his arrest since Saturday when in an echo of his appeal to supporters during his final days in office, Trump urged people to protest the possible indictment, writing, quote, take our nation back. It makes this protest and this group of people a greater threat than normal. And while protesters have remained mostly peaceful outside the courthouse, we're ready to fight to support our people. Yeah. The NYPD isn't taking any chances. Heavy fencing surrounds the courthouse downtown as NYPD choppers fly overhead and the police harbor unit patrols the East and Hudson Rivers. SWAT teams will be placed at strategic locations around Manhattan and all 35,000 sworn NYPD officers have been ordered to dress in full uniform, even undercover cops, and told to be ready to mobilize at a moment's notice. And speaking of those ongoing security concerns, a bomb threat at the courthouse was called into 911 earlier today. NYPD did a full sweep and found no active device, no device of any kind. As of right now, Mr. Trump is still down in Mar-a-Lago. His legal team says they have not been advised of an indictment. The expectation is if and when that happens, Trump will fly here to New York to turn himself in. We're live in Lower Manhattan. Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. Jessica, thank you.